Yeah, that's a hard pass for me. I don't know what I would have done if I had seen one of those wild kitties out on my porch. This morning, a lot of us are seeing some cooler weather thanks to the cold front that has moved through. We're also seeing an area of high pressure that has helped us cool down significantly overnight tonight, and we likely will see these cooler temperatures linger as we go throughout most of the day. A lot of us this morning are under some sort of freeze or frost alert. A lot of us area wide this morning are under a frost advisory through 8 o'clock this morning, and there is a freeze warning just off to our north and west across central Missouri. Our frosty conditions are going to continue to be the dominating story this morning. You are going to feel those colder temperatures as you step out the door. You are going to want to grab a heavier jacket, but you will be able to lose it as we go throughout the afternoon. Nonetheless, we will certainly see below normal high temperatures temperatures today and a lot of us are going to continue to see this cooler pattern last throughout the day tomorrow. Here's what we're looking at area wide in terms of conditions out there on the tower cameras. We are starting to see some hints of daylight, but don't let the sunshine fool you. It is downright cold for a lot of us. We are sitting at the freezing mark across Perryville. We fall into below freezing for Mount Vernon, for Farmington and for Piedmont. 36 for Harrisburg, 40 for Paducah. That's our warm spot. 37 for Union City. Now some of us are seeing winds out of the north at about 5 to 7 miles per hour. That is creating a slight wind chill for some of us. 32 around Carbondale and Harrisburg. Now, as we continue throughout the rest of our day, we are going to see the mid 50s by the time we make it to 12 o'clock this afternoon. Upper 50s for high temperatures and we'll likely see temperatures fall back into the mid 50s as we get into the 6 o'clock hour overnight tonight. Now area wide, lots of temperatures today are going to be into the upper 50s. A few of us may make it to the 60 deg degree mark overnight tonight. Temperatures will rapidly cool into the lower 30s to near freezing once again for a lot of us tomorrow. We will see clear skies overnight tonight. We'll likely see mostly sunny skies tomorrow morning. Mostly sunny skies are going to last throughout the entire day tomorrow. We'll likely see temperatures into the mid 50s by 11 a.m. Mid 60s by 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So we will be a few degrees warmer than we will be today, but nonetheless still well below average. Sunshine is going to be continuing as we go throughout the entire day on Friday and Saturday. We may see a few clouds move in as we get into Sunday, but then we are going to be mostly sunny as we get into the day on Monday. The Storm Track 3 app always helpful to keep right there in the palm of your hand, even though we're really not going to see too much in terms of shower activity, but it will let you know if we do get another freeze or frost alert as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Again, tomorrow it is going to be very chilly to start the day out, likely running around 34 degrees. We'll see temperatures warm into the mid 60s by the time we make it to the afternoon hours. Upper 60s are expected by Friday. We'll likely see the lower 70s as we approach this weekend, so we'll be running a little bit closer to normal with temperatures only about 1 to 5 degrees above normal. Overall, though, over the next seven days, we are just going to see quite a bit of sunshine across our region. Temperatures today, again, 57 for the high, so it will be a little bit chilly. Grab that jacket as you're headed out the door, but you shouldn't need it for too long. 63 tomorrow and 68 for Friday. 70s by the time we make it to the weekend with lots and lots of sunshine.